dissent grows in the BJP over its president Nitin Gadkari. CNN Ivan has learned that there won't be any decision over his removal until Diwali is over at least. A senior party leader Sushma Swaraj has tweeted her support for Nitin Gadkari. She says reports that uh, she's against him are false. All this as uh, uh, in fact, many in uh, the BJP are calling for Gadkari's ouster and those voices are getting louder within the party. Senior leader Ram Jait Malani has asked for Gadkari's resignation. He says any delay in that will only dent the BJP's image and he also claims to have the support of leaders like Yashwan Sinha, Jaswan Singh and Shatrugan Sinha. The uh, a new figure in the picture emerged, that is Mr. S. Gurumurthy who has been uh, close to the RSS for a very long time, is known as an investigative chartered accountant, given the times in the 80s and the 90s, when he led to exposes on Bofors and several other cases. Mr. S. Gurumurthy strangely started meeting top BJP leaders, especially the dissenters like Mr. Yashwan Sinha and Jaswan Singh. Then he even went and met L.K. Advani, the BJP's patriarch, and Sushma Swaraj. Eventually what we found from the BJP sources is that S. Guru Murthy had an explanation to all the BJP top leaders. What had happened that the BJ RSS facing a uh, crisis, uh, facing Nitin Gadkari, face, uh, facing charges, had asked S. Guru Murthy to look at all the documents, examine the documents of the dealings of the Purthi group headed by Nitin Gadkari. Mr. S. Guru Murthy and one more leader of the BJP were looking at these documents and after scrutinizing the documents they found that there is not much substance as far as the charges against Nitin Gadkari are concerned. So Mr. Guru Murthy was meeting all BJP top leaders that perhaps these charges are not enough, not enough to go in for the removal of a party president, perhaps also carrying a message from the RSS that the RSS has one not abandoned him and if the BJP actually succumbs to the pressure from the opposition or the charges in the media, it might lead to a political crisis for the BJP because removal of a party president on corruption charges will certainly be a, have, uh, will not be good for the party's electoral dividends as far as Gujarat is concerned. That triggered another spate of meetings, Nitin Gadkari in perhaps a damage control exercise to explain what exactly his side of the story is. He started uh, meeting top leaders of the party. He met Nitin, uh, Mr. Uh, Arun Jaitley, leader of opposition in the Raj Sabha, somebody who has taken a strident position on the issue of corruption over the last three years and has been, uh, one has witnessed that he has been silent as far as defending vocally and strongly Mr. Nitin Gadkari's charges uh, are concerned. Then Nitin Gadkari met Sushma Swaraj and we have noticed over the last few days there has been a coming together. There, Sushma Swaraj and Nitin Gadkari were not on the best of the terms, especially on the issue a few years back on the issue of uh, Narendra Modi. There were differences and in fact uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Nitin Gadkari as party president had to speak to Sushma Swaraj. Today we found that uh, when he met, uh, when Mr. Gadkari met Sushma Swaraj, perhaps it was an attempt uh, Along with Mr. Jaitley, it was an attempt to ensure that the pressure does not mount as far as the top BJP leaders are concerned. After that, uh, after that, there have been a call for a core group, and Siddharth Pandey has been covering the meetings at Sushma Swaraj's house. Now, I must tell you very frankly that Mr. Gurumurthy came to see me and to convince me that the allegations which are being made against Gadkari are absolutely ill-founded. Now this requires scrutiny of certain very vital documents. I have told him that I have such great respect for you personally that uh, since you have come with this opinion, I am prepared to examine all the papers on which you have founded your conclusion. So, he is going to send me all the documents and I told him that it may be necessary for me to ask a few questions from Gadkari himself. He says, don't worry about it. If you want to ask him many questions, Mr. Gadkari will answer them.